front of the ocean, over the clouds, and around the world, here comes the wild side of wildlife, the Animal Show. Now, let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends, Stinky and Jake. Now it's the Animal Show! Hello, all you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And I am Jake. Oh, and that must be my cousin, Bunny. Whoa, whoa, keep pear I'm sorry, I knocked over a tree. Oh, don't worry about it, Bunny. We'll fix it. Ah, thanks, cousin Jinky. Come oh, here, Bunny. Oh. I thought Bunny's had long ears, fluffy tails, and went hippity hoppity hippity oh. hop. No, no, a Bunny is her name. Yep. As you can see, Stinky, oh, she, she's oh. not a Bunny. She's a bear. Oh. Good to meet you, Stinky Winky oh. Winky. Well, it's nice to meet you. Ah, ah. Good. Bunny's going to be helping us ah. around the show. Oh, oh. I'm really, really good at helping. I'm sure you are. Yeah, Bunny, uh, why don't you start by uh, helping Armstrong uh, with uh, That's Amazing. Uh, oh, uh, dokey because uh, it's chicky. Uh, I, oh, I hope everyone's going to like Bunny. Uh, Bersky, well, uh, after all, she is part of the family. Oh, and speaking of family. Right. Today, we're going to meet two animals that live in family groups, the chimpanzee and the hyena, two. right after this. And now it's time for... That's amazing! Oh, that was smart. <clears throat> Today, let's take a look at chimpanzees and their relatives. <laughs> Armstrong, did you know that chimpanzees are very closely related to humans? Huh. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. <laughs> it's true. In fact, chimpanzees have more in common with humans than they do with their fellow tree-climbing fleet beater, the gorilla. Hey, how do you know all of this? Ah, uh, cousin Jakey. Smart. He teaches me stuff. Huh. Chimps and humans. Another family reunion that'll make you say... <gasps> That's amazing! That sounded like another oopsie bearski. Oh, it sure did. Maybe Bunny isn't ready to help us. Oh, Jake, she's your family. Let's give her one more chance. <laughs> make that two more chances. Mm, good idea. And now it's time to meet a guest who can tell us a lot about families. Here she is, all the way from Africa. Africa! Trudy, the chimpanzee. <laughs> Jake, Stinky, I love your show. I watch uh, it all the time. Uh, Give me a hug. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me, I hate to break this up, but shouldn't we be watching some chimps in action? Oh, oh, Stinky, hop yeah. up. <laughs> Thank you. Using that rock as a tool. 
Oh, come on, Jake. That's what a family is all about. Loving each other no matter what. Oh, you're right. Uh, even awkward and cowardly and smelly animals are loved by their families. Hey, you don't mean skunks, do you? Oh, no. I'm talking about our next guest. And here he is all the way from Africa. Africa. Laszlo the Hyena. Oh, hi, Stinky and Jake. Oh, hiya, Maz. Boy, you, you sure you guys want me to join you, huh? Yeah, uh, we, sure. We hyenas aren't usually welcomed around other animals. No. You know? Why is that? <laughs> I think I know. Uh, yes, that was the famous hyena laugh. Oh. oh, it's not really a laugh. It's a sound hyenas make. You know, a dog barks, a cat meows, and a weak... <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at hyenas in action. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, oh, family photos. photos. My favorite. Uh, oh, a group of hyenas is called a clan. And a clan can be anywhere from 12 or so to as many as 80 hyenas. Well, that includes male and female hyenas, as well as our pups. Yeah, the older hyenas bring back food for the young and protect them from harm. Oh, say, those hyenas are chasing off a lion. I thought you guys were cowards. I uh, beg your pardon? That's what Jake said. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, well, I just really? meant that uh, hyenas have a reputation for eating food that other animals kill and for running off when there's danger. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I, I've heard those rumors, too. Uh, but, but hyenas aren't excellent hunters. And working together, we can catch prey like the great wildebeest. Uh, but it is true that we enjoy a good leftover meal now and then. But that's only because hyenas can eat foods that other animals can't digest. Hyenas can eat everything right down to the bone and eat the bone, too. Whoa. We waste hey, nothing. What are those big holes in the ground? Oh, well, that's our den. Yeah, when our pups are born, we dig underground burrows and live there. It's safer for the young. Mm. Well, how long does it take before a hyena pup can take care of itself? Oh, well, uh, it takes about 18 months. And by that time, the hyena pups have grown big and strong. Whoa. But the most important part of a hyena isn't his legs or his nose or his ears. It's his jaw. Is that because you laugh a lot? Well, not exactly, you see. Well, wait, wait, wait. I know. It's because you need a strong jaw to lick your puppies clean. A clean hyena is a happy hyena. Well, that's not exactly the reason, Stinky. Huh? Hyenas need strong jaws to catch and eat our food. A hyena's jaw must be strong enough to crush a bone. Yeah, or do major damage to a houseplant. Yeah, well, no. You see, that cub there is exercising to make her jaw muscle stronger. That kind of exercise is an important part of growing up. And, uh, so is taking a nap. <laughs> uh, back into the burrow you go. See you later, fellas. <laughs> well, Laszlo, I must admit I have a new respect for the hyena family. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, Laszlo, how about singing a song? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> and now here's Laszlo with the hyena song. I am a hyena, boy I'm glad I seen ya, can I introduce you to my crowd? We always stick together, forever and forever, it's being a hyena makes you proud. <laughs> when you come to eat, don't erase no sleep, get stuck in and have a real good feed. We're one big happy family, we're just fine and dandy. Hyena is a senior kind of breed. And kids, we free to fight a ton, playing in the morning sun. I hope they grow up, everyone like me. Hey, they lion, watch your back when we're hunting in the pack. We're the most together family. It takes a proud hyena to keep the country clean, yeah. Eating up the best that's left behind. Nothing's ever wasted. Everything gets tasted. Not a bit of zebra you will find. Uh, whatever kind of weather, we share a joke together. Have you ever heard us laugh out loud? We're one big happy family. We're just fine and dandy. It's being a hyena makes you proud. <laughs> Hyena makes you proud. <laughs> Boy, he must be fun at parties. Yeah. <clears throat> and now it's time for... Oh, I'm late for the Animal Awards. Oh. Oh. Animal Awards. <laughs> Take it away, Bunny and Armstrong. <laughs> and now it's time for... <laughs> the Animal Awards. What, the, what happened? Huh? Today's Animal Award is for the best laugher. Oh. Is it the Kookaburra? Uh... The, uh, the, the, the hyena? Or the jackass penguin. Hey, who are you calling a penguin? <laughs> and the winner for best laugher is... The hyena! Ooh, way to go, Laszlo! <laughs> oh, yeah!
Armstrong? Well, I hope Armstrong's all right. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm yeah, okay. I'm fine. fine. Don't worry fine, about fine. it. Well, uh, tell us a story, Jake. Oh, tell us a story. Story, story. Come on in, come on in. Sit down, sit down. All right. Now, today's story is about an animal called a cuckoo rass. <gasps> Once upon a time, there was a lovely pink cuckoo rass. Now, a cuckoo rass may sound like it's supposed to be a bird, but as you can see, it's a fish. Anyway... Because this cuckoo rass was pink, she knew she was a girl because all girl cuckoo rasses are pink. I think I'll call myself Kiki, she said. Hey, what do you think of the name Kiki? You can't have it because I want it, said a bigger cuckoo rass. Kiki should be my name. Calvin Cuckoo Rass, the only boy fish in the show, overheard the girl fish talking. Uh-oh, he said to himself. Sounds like there's going to be a fight. Since he hated fights, he left. Now, a funny thing happens to cuckoo rasses when the only boy fish in the shoal swims away. One of the girls turns into a boy. Now, that may sound strange, but it's absolutely true. So, when Kiki found herself turning blue, she knew it was happening to her. She was turning into a boy. You can't call yourself Kiki now, said the other cuckoo rasses. No, I guess you're right, said Kiki. So, what should I call myself? How about Kevin? Yes, Kevin Cuckoo Rass. That's a good name for a boy Cuckoo Rass. So now I can call myself <coughs> Kiki, can't I? Said the fish who wanted the name Kiki. But thinking about it, she decided she preferred the name Coral. Coral, that's a good name for a Cuckoo Rass. So Kevin, Coral, and all the other Cuckoo Rasses lived happily ever after. <sighs> Jake, that was a swell story. Great story, Cousin Jakey. Bye-bye. You know, I think Bunny's going to be just fine. It's everybody else I'm worried about. Okay, all you little animals out there. It's Armstrong the Chicken Hawk here, your host for today's edition of Habitat Time. Hi, Armstrong. What? What are you doing? Uh, well, 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 if you must know, uh, I was hosting Habitat Time. Oh, what's uh, Habitat Time? Well, it's when we go to all sorts of different places in the world, and uh, today we're supposed to go to t Oh, how do we get there? Uh, I bet we go through this door. <gasps> Can I open it? Uh, absolutely, but not. Come on, Armstrong. No, uh, you're going to... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, look. All right, what is it? It's a spotnik otter. Some people say it's the fastest otter underwater. The fastest otter underwater? Oh, that's a good one. Otter underwater? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I'm strong. Oh, where, 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 where'd it go? Guess I can't take a joke. Isn't this pretty? Local people, this is a sacred place. Oh, you don't say. They say the spirits of the dead live again in the forest animals. Whoa, is that a spirit? It's a spot-nosed monkey. Hey, hey, now this is a nice spot. Hey, baby, how's it going? That's not a baby, it's a hornbill. Hmm. Oh, hey, and there's another spot in those monkeys. You know how I know? Because of the spot on his nose. Hey, you guessed. Look, look, some Diana monkeys. Did you know that there are over 2,000 individual primates on this island from 11 different species? I did not know that. You know, Bunny, you're a real source of information, just like your cousin Jake. Thanks. I wonder if that Diana monkey there would have a look at my tail. I, I haven't had it groomed in months. I can tell. Mmm, a hornbill, honey. Hey, why don't you tell me you had a boyfriend? Uh, we could have had such a beautiful thing together. Mm. Oh, there's another itchy spotted nose monkey. Hey, what's he got there in his mouth? A piece of fruit. Looks good, huh? Hey, not as good as that hornbill. All the primates here eat fruit. But because everybody likes different fruits and lives on different levels of the forest, there's enough for everyone. Mm. Really? Mm. All these Campbell's monkeys are eating stuff off the floor of the forest. Uh, my mother told me never to eat anything off of the floor. I bet your mother wasn't a Campbell's monkey. You got me there. Oh, oh, look at the baby monkeys. Hey, monkeys want to play? Hey, come on, Bunny. Uh, we can't stay here to play. It's time to go home. But Armstrong, I'm really, really good at playing. And I'm really, really good at going home and taking a nap. Let's go. Oh, Armstrong! Wasn't that fantastic? No. Didn't you love it? No. Can we do it again sometime? No. Oh, good! Better go and see if I can help somebody else. Bye. Well, for Habitat Time, this is...
This is Armstrong the Chicken Hawk, just back from T.Y. Island and beginning to itch. Ooh, where are Stinky and Jake's? Oh, here we are, Tiz. Uh, hi. Uh, hi there, Tizzy. Uh, uh, listen, I want you to be honest. Now, what do you think of my cousin, Bunny? I like her. She calls me Tizzy Dizzy Izzy. Oh, okay, Tizzy Dizzy Izzy. We're ready for a quiz. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 